hello everyone in this video we'll be seeing a tool called donut it is used to generate the shell code that can be used by our loaders or stages to execute that shell code so by for input we'll be giving a exe or dot net assembly or a dll and it will generate the shell code for us so donut is a position independent code that enables in memory execution of uh vb script j script exe dll files and dot net assemblies so it uses uh, encryption so we can read the documentation in their github uh, readme i'm going to clone this one i have already cloned this and we need to compare this one so by running the make command the binary has been compiled we can say donut and we can see the description here so you can directly supply the exe and there are also some options so we'll be looking at some of these options we can specify the architecture either 32 bit 64 bit or both and we can specify the behavior for bypassing the mc by default is continue on file and the output format binary base 64 c uh, array ruby python powershell c sharp and hexadecimal so these are the formats available so we can also pass the parameters for the exe let's create a uh, code for that message box say first one is the window handle null so we are going so we are going to create a message box very simple code that will pop up and say hi so get the pointer for this uh, buffer vector and marshal that one as a raw pointer and for the window title you can copy the same and message box of type 0 constant i8 my bad so this is a just a our binary we can run this and we can see the message box saying hi and hi now this is our binary let's go and copy into this donut folder now we are going to generate the shell code from this exe file donut minus i for the minus i for the input file and we are going to specify the architecture only the 64 bit after specifying the architecture we can specify the output format so the output format binary by default it creates an exe and let's output the format of c sharp that is close to our rust binary we can directly put that in the our rust code f7 and output as payload.txt so we can see it has written to the payload.txt let's view the contents of payload.txt and this is a very huge array so there is uh, no way we are going to copy it into our loader it makes the binary bigger so that's why we are going to create a
we are going to create a uh, a binary format and we are going to host that on our kali box our stager will retrieve the content from this url and executes it so let me change this to one and let's say payload dot bin so if i go and view the payload dot bin it gives us the the raw format we can host this using the python server and this is my ip address so okay we can comment of this now we are going to fetch the payload dot bin file from uh, this url we can use the request package from the uh, request create interest and payload dot bin so if we unwrap this we get a response let response is equals to response so response dot uh bytes dot unwrap we can convert this into a vector so now we have the buffer we can just go and run this one to see if the rust binary is making the connection to our kali box let's run this and we can see the request from our box to this payload dot bin route so okay now we can write the code to load that to run that shellcode virtual alloc specify the null pointer so the os allocates the uh, memory for us decides the address for us and buffer dot length mem commit and mem reserve and page execute read write so let's call this as base address and we are going to write our buffer contents into this base address so we use the write process memory we are in the same process you can inject the shell code into the remote process as well for the demonstration purpose we will be injecting into our own stager get current process and specify the base address and the buffer dot as pointer and the buffer dot length and you can specify the last null pointer we do not want to have a variable to know how many bytes are written we, we know of course this function succeeds in normal scenarios you might want to uh, pass a uh, address of the variable to get the number of bytes written into this address so now we have the base address we are going to run this one so we can create an anonymous pointer uh, and, and run that one and execute that so this is what we will be seeing in normal c code a void star and it will create a new fun anonymous function and execute this so std mem transmute and pass in the base address so we are going to convert this into a anonymous function so this uh, base address the address is treating as a function 
and let's call this as uh, runner and we can just call this runner function upon this the code at this base address gets executed since its page executed right our code gets executed now let's run this and we can see the message box has been popped up and also the another request from our box to this payload.bin sorry payload.bin route so okay that's all for the video we have seen uh, how to generate the shell code from an exe using the donut and we also seen how to write a simple loader to load the shell code and execute it